Hey, it's Greta here. So I just got diagnosed with COVID-19. I tested positive and it's been a couple of days since I got my first symptoms. I have the typical coronavirus symptoms such as fever, shortness of breath, low energy levels, headache, and I've been really lazy these days. I don't feel like doing anything. And I have some other more rare symptoms such as brain fog, confusion, numbness in my arms and my legs sharp pains in my organs that come and go. So this thing is serious. But I thought I'm gonna film this video even if I don't feel my best, just to show you what will I do to strengthen my immune system and recover from coronavirus faster. And it's not any corona cure, and I'm not a doctor. I'm a nutritionist and a health coach who shares the best science-based health tips. And this time I'm gonna share the strategies you can use to boost your immune system. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you wouldn't miss out any of my videos in the future. So why is your immune system important? Well, when you get infected, it's a battle between the virus and your body. There's not much you can do to directly kill the virus, but a well-functioning immune system can help you to fight it off. So first, what is the immune system? The immune system protects your body from various invaders, such as bacteria and viruses. It is made up of different organs, cells and proteins that work together. How does the immune system work? When the body senses foreign substances, the immune system works to recognize them and get rid of them. I will explain what weakens your immune system, what strengthens it, what foods and supplements to take to boost immune system and I will even show what I will eat during this time to help my body to fight it off. So first I'm gonna look into the factors that weaken your immune system. First we have sugar. Have you heard about the importance of vitamin C for strengthening your immune system? Things like oh you have a flu take some vitamin C. Vitamin C is crucial for proper function of your immune system. White blood cells are an important part of your immune system. White blood cells move through your blood and tissues throughout your body, looking for invaders such as bacteria, viruses, parasites and fungi so that it could kill them. White blood cells need high levels of vitamin C inside a cell to fight off infections. So what does sugar have to do with it? How does sugar weaken your immune system? Well, when you eat sugar or other carbohydrates, such as bread, pasta, rice, they get converted into glucose in your body, which is sugar. Glucose is basically sugar. So when we eat sugar, it directly competes with vitamin C for the space in white blood cells that are so important for your immune function. And as a result, less vitamin C can enter into white blood cells. So what happens? Glucose gets in instead of vitamin C and messes it all up. It disturbs white blood cells to do their job that is to fight against pathogens. So high glucose levels in the blood actually weaken the immune system by decreasing white blood cells reactivity. And most bacteria and viruses need sugar to survive. The majority of bacteria and viruses to be precise, around 80% of them seek out sugars on the surface of our cells. So cutting out the sugar and other foods that turn into sugar in our bodies, such as rice, pasta, potatoes, bread, is the first step to take to strengthen your immune system. And then of course you also have to avoid processed foods, fast food and all the other foods that have a lot of toxic ingredients and not many nutrients. Your body has enough to deal with. You shouldn't be eating any food with long ingredient lists because your body will have to put extra effort to deal with these instead of trying to fight off the infection. So what strengthens your immune system? Good food. You need to eat natural whole foods, plenty of vegetables. Now it's time to have the cleanest, most nutrient dense diet ever. Diet low in sugar, low in toxins, high in nutrients, various antioxidants, rich in vitamin D and C, and mineral zinc. That's what you need for a proper function of your immune system. So what will I eat knowing that I have coronavirus? I will have no sugar in my diet. The obvious one. 
I will follow a clean, low-carb keto diet with 7 to 10 servings of low-carb veggies a day. Here are some examples of my meals. I'll try to eat most of my vegetables raw to get more powerful vitamins, minerals, antioxidants and phytonutrients to boost my health. So no snacking, two keto coffees a day with dark chocolate and two meals with a small serving of organic meat cooked in butter with raw vegetables such as greens, red cabbage, bell peppers, tomatoes, nuts and extra virgin olive oil and a green smoothie with organic spinach, lemon, wild blueberries for their amazing phytonutrients, vitamins, minerals and antioxidants, Haska berry powder for extra phytonutrients, creamed coconut for extra fats as it will help to absorb fat soluble vitamins, then various seeds such as pumpkin, brown linseed, chia seeds, sunflower seeds and I will add these seeds for extra minerals such as zinc. Then I will also add stevia for sweetness and water and blend it for one minute. I'll have that twice a day. And talking about supplements in general, I will continue taking my regular supplements. I will continue taking collagen supplement in the morning in my keto coffee, then vitamin D3 liquid drops. And I also just started taking extra strength lion's mane medicinal mushroom supplement. It's shown to increase neuron growth and improve the overall brain function. And if you need a better explanation of what am I talking about when I say healthy, clean keto, you can check out my other video about how to start a healthy keto diet that I will link in the description of this video and also in the corner of this video. And also to help my immune system to function better, I will make sure that I sleep enough. I always aim for eight hours of quality sleep and I try to always go to sleep at the same time and wake up at the same time. Good quality sleep is essential for well-functioning immune system. Then I will try to do yoga with deep breathing and meditation at least three times a week. You can check out my video Yoga for Beginners. It is just a quick and easy yoga session. And I will make sure that I manage my stress effectively as stress can also suppress your immune system. So if you don't know how to manage your stress, you can check out my video explaining the seven best stress management techniques. So to summarize all this, to help my body to recover from COVID-19, I will do all I can to make sure that my immune system has all it needs to function properly. I will sleep well, I will manage my stress, I will practice yoga and deep breathing, and I will eat only nutrient-dense foods and eat most vegetables raw. I will have variety of vegetables, berries and seeds. I will not have any sugar and any other unhealthy carbs. Obviously, no alcohol, no snacking. And I will take supplements such as Haskep berry powder, lion's mane medicinal mushroom, vitamin D3, multi-collagen powder, and drink organic matcha green tea once or twice a day. These all play a role in enhancing your immune system. So what's more important, adding the good things or removing the bad things? Well, removing the bad things that suppress your immune function is far more important. So the most important things here would be no junk food, no sugar, more vegetables and berries, good sleep and no stress. So these are my coronavirus diet and lifestyle tips that I'm going to use myself and wish me luck. And also, if you found my content useful, you can support me on Patreon. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. So thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.